Kia ora tata and welcome to another Mr. M Teacher Brains YouTube video. So today we are learning to group like terms and that's um, part of algebra that's quite a common thing to do and we're looking at examples like 3b plus 5a minus b plus 4a. They look complicated, they look impressive but they're not really that hard to do. So the first thing I'd like you to have a look at is my beautiful pictures here. So here you can see we've got yellow bananas, if you're wondering what they are, uh, red apples and green pears. So have a look at this screen and find out how many bananas, apples and pears we've got. And we're going to turn it to algebra. So if you looked at the, that picture just before, you could see we had four bananas, so 4B plus 3As plus 2Ps. Now you can't really mix all that fruit together to make fruit salad. Algebra doesn't really want you to make fruit salad. So you've got to keep your, your vegetables and your, and your fruit all separate from each other. So keep all the letters separate from each other. And that's basically the only rule to follow. So let's have a look at this equation. It's 3A plus 2B plus 3B plus 5A. Now what I like to do is draw little boxes around each of the um, expressions and that keeps the, um, the letters separate to themselves and it shows you if they're a positive or a negative. So here I'm grouping the A's together, 3A plus 5A and then 2B plus 3B and so if you just add those B's and A's, well 3A plus 5A is 8A, 2B plus 3B equals 5B. Here's another one and it's 4G plus 3P minus 2G plus 5P. So again, just draw the boxes around the, um, the different uh, letters and that keep, helps you keep them grouped. So here I've got the G's in yellow and the P's in red and you can see that my minus 2G, that's going to make an impact when I put my equation back together. So here I've got 4G minus 2G plus 3P plus 5P, well that equals 2G plus 8P. So sometimes they try and confuse you by putting in squared numbers and things like that. Don't get confused. Just remember apples, pears, bananas, carrots, um, kiwi fruit, whatever. Keep them all separate. So again, draw the boxes around and look for all the ones that are the same or common. So here we've got the 5p squared put minus 2p squared. We've got 3b by itself and 3ab by itself. Then just rewrite your equation. So 5p squared minus 2p squared equals 3p squared. And then minus 3B plus 3AB, well, just leave it as is. And that is the answer. But wait, there's more. Try a couple of these ones. 3X plus 2AB squared minus 3B plus 5X minus 2B. Whoa, sounds complicated, but it's not. Just put the boxes around it, rewrite the equation, and put it all together. So if you follow my working here, you'll end up with 2X minus 5B plus 2AB squared. So just remember with algebra, there is a difference between simplifying and solving. So just check what the question asks you. But most times if you're just simplifying, you don't have to find an answer. You just have to rearrange them. So simplifying is just rearranging the letters. So here's a couple for you to try. Press pause on your YouTube channel and, um, and have a go at these two. And I'll put the answers up next. Cool, so here's your answers. I hope you got them right. Thanks for watching. Um, I always appreciate any feedback and anything to make my videos better, so please let me know. Um, catch you next time.